today on a diamond roof. There's poor ventilation in these roofs right here because there's no ridge capping for ridge venting and there's also no venting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Canadian Go Green solar vent. We're gonna pop one right here on this tile. Pretty simple thing to do on a finished roof. Well, all you're gonna do is you're gonna make a puncture hole, cut that hole out, cut the wood out, and then we're gonna use some caulking and we're actually gonna turn the Go Green 45 degrees in and make it a diamond shape itself and then slide it in. So stay tuned, you're gonna see me take this on. We're gonna start by putting a hole in the shingle. Almost breaks your heart doing that, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's break the hole. Now, since you um, have a rotating fan inside this, uh, in the vent, you don't want any metal sticking up, so you're gonna wanna make your cuts as clean as possible. This is the tricky part. We're gonna have to cut the substrate out. And I like to use, when I'm doing that, is a tool lanyard for my heavier tools. So, we have a dual cordless 60 volt, but it's a pretty expensive tool. So I'm gonna hook it up to my lanyard. Made by Primeline, of course, big time. See that, if you drop it, you don't wanna drop it either way, but this way it doesn't fall off the roof. Snug yourself up on your lang on your harness. Gonna want to right away is to blow the clean the area pretty quickly. All right, here, Dad, take that. I'm gonna take a lanyard. Do you have it now? So you don't want any debris under your feet. Make sure you clean that off. Go. See this space right here? This wall comes up, doesn't allow it to vent up into the other attic space. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to prepare the shingle to slide the vent up under. So, it's just to, it's just to pry that shingle up like so. All right. Next is so we got the vent now, all ready to go in. Make sure you don't take your warranty off first because as soon as you peel this back, it starts to get sunlight and of course it starts to work automatically. Every vent also comes with a either a hat or a mask or a balaclava, a bunch of cool stuff. So there's always a little free treat for the boys in there. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm also gonna uh, put a sealant around this side. And just slides into place. Of course, I just screw around the edges there. Done. There we go. That way, if you ever need to replace it, if the motor ever expires in 15 years or so. You can uh, easily remove it with just a few screws. And you can actually hear it light right up. For the first time in this house, in this building's history, this side of the attic space is actually being vented very, very well. Always vent, or else you're doing it wrong. Yeah, this is 